Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is rendering is visible. Let's jump right into the example, which honestly isn't really going to work, and I'll explain why. So I'm firing off line traces, and it's going to tell us whether or not the item we're hitting is visible. And I mean, technically, it is visible, and it's working fine. If I was to go into my actor itself, it's this one. Let's go to the sphere, and let's set its visibility to off. We'll go ahead and fire off another line trace. Now you notice it says true in the top left. Well, we have a slight issue, and I will cover that here shortly. We are hitting the sphere, which is not visible. However, we should be getting back a false. And I'm going to cover why. So let's go ahead and look at the node itself. So the node we care about is, let's see, here we go, is visible. Is the is visible node. If we type in is visible, it's not going to come back because it is context sensitive. And there are two is visible nodes, and that's why this video is titled Rendering is Visible. You have the rendering version, which applies to scene components, things inside your blueprints. And then you have the widget version, which applies to your UMG widgets for visibility. UMG widgets have a different set of visibility rather than just on or off. It has different versions because of layout, such as hidden, so they are not compatible. So the one we care about is the rendering is visible. It takes in a scene component. Remember, a scene component is part of a blueprint. So, for example, my mesh, my front nose and back cube, these are all scene components. My pawn sensing is not because it does not have a location somewhere in the world. It outputs a boolean of true or false. So what do I mean by the fact it wasn't working properly? Well, because what I am targeting is this item here. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. There we go is this item here, which consists of a root, a sphere underneath it as a child, and two cubes underneath the sphere, there are four scene, four scene components in total. And each scene component actually has its own rendering visibility section. So if I was to adjust the visibility of this root item, it's not going to affect the children. And that's where the problem comes in. Let me go ahead and go into here, and let's go back to our example. And you'll notice when I fire off, it's hitting this sphere right here. My character, if I can find him, is firing off, and the actor he's hitting, he's getting the root component, and the root component is going to be this root right here, and then he's checking the visibility. Now, because I'm only changing the visibility on my example of this sphere itself, when I changed it, so let's, for example, go back in here. Let's go back to our sphere. Let's go this down so we have a little more room. And we change its visibility. The visibility on the sphere is changed. However, the root, which is what we're checking against, which is this item here, has its own visibility. If we were to uncheck it, now the root is invisible. And you'll notice that we now get false, even though we're hitting something. But you also notice we still have the cubes visible. So that is something to keep in mind. Visibility is on a scene component basis. What do I mean by that? Well, for this item, we have four scene components. Again, we have this one, the root, the sphere, and the two cubes. Each of them has their own visibility option. Each of them is independent of the other. So when you are checking is visible, make sure you're checking it against the proper scene component. So for in this example, if I wanted to actually see if the item I was hitting was proper, I would check the hit component. Let's plug that into is visible instead of the root. And let's check that out. We'll go ahead and run this again. We'll fire it off. We'll aim at the sphere. We have true because we are hitting something that is visible. We'll go back to our rendering actor, go to our sphere, toggle just its visibility. Let's go ahead and fire off a few more, and now you see false. We are successfully testing against just this sphere, because that's what we're hitting, and it no longer has a visibility. It is rendered invisible, basically. Keep in mind, visibility has nothing to do with collision. I can still be blocked by the sphere, as you can see here. 
and hit traces are still hitting them properly. It is just a visibility option that toggles the rendering on or off. So that's it. It was a long way of getting to a really simple node, but basically is visible, targets a scene component, and will tell you if the visibility rendering option, that is going to be this option down here under rendering visible, is enabled or not. And if it is disabled, it is not going to render, and it's not going to render the shadow as well. If it's enabled, it's going to render the item itself, including the shadow.